What up, yo? We, we seven up, deep in here. We seven deep in Zoom University. Yo. We we ain't wasting no time. We move. We gotta. We gotta move on. Uh, Bills. The Bills. Ravens. The Bills beat the Ravens seventeen three. Lamar Jackson. Uh, prayers up. He had a concussion. Could not finish the game. Uh, but the Bills. They they were a little shaky. A little shaky. But they found the they found a way. Teron Johnson with a hundred yard plus pick six to put the game on ice. Uh, what you got takeaways, man? Raven season, season review. Cut Carter. I think I was the only one to pick them, so I'm going to go first. Last week, out of the, the people that were here. Demond, you picked them? You might have been the only one, other one. I picked the Ravens. Oh, okay, which is me. Hey, man. Say, man. But Lamar, Lamar played good, like I said he would. Huh? Derek was definitely cheering for the Ravens as he was watching that game. No, I was not cheering for Tyler Huntley on the last drive because I wanted him to do good because he looked good. Hey man, the Ravens, hey man. the Ravens, what what hurt them? As they what what always hurts them? What's been hurting I think them? They, I think they're the Saints of the AFC. Am I wrong? What's been but what's been hurting them? What's the same thing they're hurting? Uh, having a the number one receiver. Yep, that's what they missed. They missed receiver, bro. No, nah, win was bad. I heard, I heard the win was bad because I heard the win was bad because Justin Tucker kept missing. But that you know that's just no. I, I was talking about the the throw to uh, Marquise. The holly, yeah, the the win like made it flutter like go far. Oh. Like, no, the game was no, lost to me at that point because they were never gonna stop Buffalo from picking up a first. Yeah, game. but so, so I know um, that. I'm thinking it's hey, sort of throw that could have you know saying not make a difference, but that could have been the Bills a defense. Moment. The Bills defense showed up like I thought. Um, they got to Lamar. On, I'm, I was sad to see him get hurt, but I did like what I saw from Tyler Huntley. I know it's not a big storyline, but they, Tyler, Hunt, Tyler Huntley and Lamar both from uh both from uh, uh the South South Florida near Miami. Um, popping up, popping the beach, popping the beach. Yeah, and uh Tyler Huntley played at I think it was Las Vegas or one of them schools somewhere over there. He he's just like Lamar, like he's a perfect backup. Like now nah, he was fast. I think like he he was moving. He was he's literally he was like. He like Lamar Jr. Basically, like he, everything he did was kind of like, and he made a couple throws. I was like, okay, he got something. Um, <laughs> but I'm not gonna keep pulling on him no more. I'm just saying he, he looked good. I think he'll be a great backup for them, and that's why I think RG3 got cut as well as the money he was supposed to make. Um, Trey and Mark Ingram too. Up. I think Mark Ingram got released too. Yeah, Mark Ingram got cut as well. Um, the Ravens got a lot to build on. Got a lot of youth. That youth movement is on. So I feel like the older players <laughs> gonna start falling off, and then these younger players gonna start coming in. So. I um, just want to say, but, in reference but, to our Madden League, this shows you that we should be able to cut players and do whatever we need to as soon as I lose. <laughs> yeah, let them know. But it's not the same because people be trying to sign them and win bowls with them. That's the only reason. Yeah, you can't know. sign them, but I could cut Mark Ingram if I want to. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Mark Ingram <laughs> at the Saints. I'm going to be like, hey, free agencies, you can't touch free agents in the playoffs. But then again, it's not. that's not fair because you can in real life. Nobody yeah, they, they uh, the Bills signed the Bills signed the Bills signed somebody that played for the Colts. No, they and they, uh, yeah, and the Bills did do that. They signed uh, the, the Browns did too. The Browns signed somebody from the Steelers. No, they did it from the Colts. I believe that yeah. was the Colts team. They, did it from. they were signing linemen, but it's just different when somebody cuts. So if you mad that you lost and all this, then you cut. I don't know. You cut a uh, Darius Leonard, and then somebody go pick him up. It's like, come on, bro. Gotcha. But, uh, Darius Leonard, though. <laughs> but back, but but you'll be surprised in Madden. But back to the point. Uh, the Bills, the Bills showed up. The Bills did everything I thought they would. Josh Allen played well. Um, Stephon Diggs didn't have as crazy of a game as I thought he would. But you know, that's a testament to Marlon Humphrey. I said that was gonna be a, a, a good matchup to watch. Um, I'm just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm just excited for the AFC Championship. You know, I. I I, I would be inside, excited for NFC Championship if we was there, but I don't care right now. I, so <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to move on after I everybody. Will. Uh, John, Jace, y'all been quiet. Uh, Ravens, Bills, takeaways. You got, got any fuzz, man? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was a great game, good matchup as far as defense being on display and talent goes. However, the uh, Ravens didn't pull out the victory due to the, the lack of a dominant passing game, which – this deep in the playoffs, you're going to need you're going to need a complete team, not just one side of your football team that does well, and you know relying on that to carry you to the Super Bowl. We've seen like that's that's not going to be the case. Um, so the Ravens next season, hopefully, will come back and, and be looking at a noticeably different pass attack that complements Lamar Jackson and brings out his full abilities because uh, they just were not on display in a loss over the weekend. So. 
we're, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot that they can improve on. They have a lot of young talent still in Baltimore. So this is a, a team that's going to be um, in the playoffs for the next five years. And hopefully they're, they're able to make the Super Bowl out at least one. As for the Bills go, I think that if Mahomes isn't able to go on Sunday, then they had, they had a chance. I think with Mahomes and Andy Reid's brilliant mind of, um, of, of football, I, I don't see the Chiefs losing on this upcoming weekend. So That's I know we we'll get to that later, but just the takeaways, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like the Ravens, they don't need to hang their head too low. Lamar's still a, a top championship caliber quarterback. He just, they just need to make sure that his passing game is shown. I, I remember last season, like his first game of the year, he had a 158.3 passer rating. Like it isn't like he can't pass. Uh, so you know, hopefully they, they build weapons around him. I feel – uh, like this is a wasted opportunity for the Ravens. Similar, it's not as bad as the Saints, but it's very similar because they went out and got players for a championship run. They got Calais Campbell. They went out and got Yannick and Gark, where they built up that defense because they thought the offense could fluctuate. And they got Derek deep- Wolf too. Yeah, and they also they added Derek him. Wolf. They also added him. So it's feel like the defense did, did their job. They didn't. They weren't the reason why they lost. It's just feels like they just had so much confidence in our offense. And I read a quote today. I don't know if it was real or not but it was saying um john harbaugh is not going to go pursue a free agent or receiver if he doesn't want to come there i said huh why wouldn't you going to because this receiver free agency class is loaded uh there's alan robinson there's chris godwin there's potentially will fuller uh so it's like why wouldn't you go out and pursue a a number two or arguably alan robinson uh, argues the number one wide receiver in my opinion so why would you go out and get somebody to open up, open up deep and like outside the numbers? It's just so confusing to me what they're what they're doing. But I think hopefully they give him a, a receiver. Hopefully, we, I mean they might be like we trust Marquise Brown's growth. We trust Willie Sneed, John Boykin. Let's run it back. So they got a first round pick here. They they do have a first round pick. They have pick number twenty seven. I ain't gonna lie, I like Jenna Waddle. I just gotta see how he's running, bro. He, he looked he looked okay in that trivia game, but I'm scared Justin Waddle could potentially end up being just like Hollywood in that system. I think Waddle's gonna go way earlier than 27, though. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, his ankle look he's fast naturally. If you've never seen him play, if you've never seen him play, if you go watch him, he's naturally fast. That's not never gonna change. It's just the way he runs is always awkward. So mm-hmm. the ankle it looks it looks suspect before you're injured anyway. So but now he has screws in his ankle, it's like it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, he has, you know, all it takes is one hit and it's, you know what I'm saying? It's wraps, but. Gotcha. I, think, uh, I think he can, he, he's very, he's better than Hollywood was in college, yes. I just think. Oh, no, no, of course. He's, he's, before I just he think in that system, he could potentially be, like, everybody thought Hollywood was going to be great because of, like, how him and Baker did it. And then he came in. He's too system, small, bro. I don't everybody care. Was like, he's too small, bro. He's. He's too small to run those those slant routes. He's a right. he's boy. He's like he's too small. He's too fra- he's naturally too fragile, bro. I think he's one sixty five, like like the most. He's just too small, bro. It's, he's naturally gonna get hit. And it's, 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 you gotta, yeah, it is what it is. You gotta build his body like Tyreek. Tyreek, oh, but Tyreek is built different. Like so, like so this is the thing. A B and Tyreek <laughs> are are compact. Built dudes. Hollywood's a fragile five seven speedster, but he's he's naturally gonna be yeah. frail, bro. He, he can put on weight. Nah, he could put on muscle. It ain't nothing to it. He could put on. You said like Tyreek throw. Have you seen I, like yo? Know, I wouldn't if be you surprised. Could put I wouldn't be surprised the Ravens go for like a Rashad Bateman who's a little bit bigger. He's six two. I wouldn't be surprised that happens. I think they gotta go for a bigger body receiver. A little. I bit would bigger. like to see them with a different offensive coordinator, but that's me. That's my. You, but, that's what I. What, but what you don't think a, a new offensive coordinator would change the way, try to change the way Lamar plays? It would have to be about philosophy and getting a new guy in there that wants a Chris Godwin and says, "Oh, I'm a Chris Godwin away from us making the Super Bowl, or beating or or contending with the Chiefs." I'm an Allen Robinson away. <laughs> I think Will Fuller is a number one if you put him in the right situation. We saw it this year, so he's staying healthy. That's better than what you got. You telling. Lamar to go out there and win you a game and you throwing a Miles Boykin and yeah. Mark Andrews. Oh, Mark, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews. Andrews, Mark Andrews, Andrews is my number one. Andrews the number one. Mark Andrews. Yeah, like, like come on, man. 
He's good though. I like. I like. No, he is. And then his number two is Willie Sneed. To be honest, his number two is Willie Sneed. So it's really to him to give Lamar the weapon he needs, and I just want to reference it again. The Chiefs went out and asked Lamar. They the Chiefs went out and asked Patrick Mahomes. They said, "What you want us to do?" They said, "Give me, give me, uh, Clyde." Give me Clyde. <laughs> and they got him Clyde. And they are back in the AFC championship, probably about to win the Super Bowl. And late, and one thing I, about the Chiefs. If you, have a, if, you, if you believe in your quarterback, quarterback is going to – your offense is going to win you points. Scoring points wins championships, as Derek liked to say. So that's the era we're in. And you got to play with the Chiefs, especially in the AFC. So you got to be able to make some plays. So the Ravens got to get a playmaker, whether that's another – Receiver and running back, I don't really see that, but they need a also. I do one. like I do like the development of Gus Edwards. I think he came to be a great running back for the system. I like him a lot. Also, he's part of the reason, that, he's part of the reason they let Mark Ingram go too. Him and, and Jackie Dobbins is playing amazing too. You know what I'm saying Dobbins, Dobbins could be the number one, and, and Gus could get some minutes too. And um, also, I, think too, I'm back. I'm back. Go. You can go. Okay. Oh, I was I was about to say it, you go ahead and finish on this topic. I had something else to say. Oh, I was just saying you know, like the thing is too. I don't think like. I'm not sure the Ravens think these thousand yard rushing seasons is gonna it'll help win games and secure playoff spots, but when you go to Buffalo and you know what I'm saying you can't run the ball, bro, and your receiver is running four threes, but they can't run the route tree, it's gonna the same is gonna happen over and over. Like it's gonna happen over and over again, bro. You can't, you know what I'm saying? The receiver like Dev Bryant was supposed to be the safety blanket and COVID and with COVID issues that he had and stuff like that. I don't he wasn't really that big big of a difference, even though I'm happy for him. I'm glad he got a job. I'm glad he glad he's back in the league, but I don't think he made an impact as big as they thought he would. Gotcha. Before we move on to prediction, bro, I do want to say one got thing. one more game. Forgot I, no, oh yeah, and then I forgot we forgot I forgot, uh, I forgot to say this in the Chiefs game. Dirty, my boy Dirty. Dirty. I talked about him. My boy played great. Daryl Williams, LSU, go tight. LSU boy, shut out this weekend. Uh, any out, any out the boot, any out the city from us. That boy balled. And everybody kind of, I felt bad. I felt bad for him at first because they bought in Clyde and they bought in Le'Veon. And I was like, dang, he's not going to ever get a chance to touch the field. And then he finally got to play. And now everybody knows who he is. And that's not Damian Williams from last year. It's Daryl Williams. You know Let, them know, so, Let them know, Let them know. Let And in college, he got overlooked because of Leonard. He played with Leonard Fournette and Geis. So he never really got his chance to shine. And I was glad. I was glad to see him finally get his chance. Let them know, Derek. Let them know. 